Should we see if this works? Yes. I don't I, I don't usually use Skype. Well, I use it to phone home, but that's it. All right. Sounds good. So I'm here with Harmony Drake, the author of Collard. Um, and thanks for doing this, by the way, on short notice. I didn't try to get all you're, this together. <laughs> you're very welcome. I'll be your guinea pig. Yes, you are. All right. So let me ask you a couple questions. Um, uh, what inspired you to uh, to go ahead and write Collard? I think that we, we, we tend to write what we love. And I've always had a love of the whole BDSM culture and the whole BDSM lifestyle. But I don't like the way it's sometimes portrayed. I'm, sure, I'm not going to name out the book, but I'm sure you can guess which way I'm going. <laughs> uh, I think I know, yeah, okay. So I, I, I wanted to write my own version and I wanted it to be um, exciting and have a kind of story to it but at the same time to get the message over that this isn't some lifestyle that's abusive there's there's love there and there's caring and there's you know people matching together and rocking each other's world basically all right so this is something that you that you that you love um what sorts? Of, what sort of research did you do to uh, to write the book? And how long do you, and how long do you spend researching? I don't know. I I think once I had a good knowledge of the lifestyle, it just kind of came out. And I've probably been in and around um, uh, for about six six years, six seven years. Okay. Um. But I didn't dive into it. I kind of stayed on the outskirts and just I, I'm a strong believer that you shouldn't be in the middle of something unless you've educated yourself in it to be safe. That's good. Yeah, smart. Smart girl. Yeah. All right. So what was the hardest thing about writing this particular book? Do you know, this is not actually a very hard book to write. Um, I uh, My... A harmony isn't my main uh, name, as you know, and most of my stories have always been romance books. So this time, I didn't want it to be the kind of flowery one, and it it, it, it kind of covers some topics about um, girls being abducted and basically murdered, and you have a serial killer and everything else. So. I'm not sure how that's going to be received. <laughs> it, should, it should be interesting. Well, I think it'll be received. I mean, I've, I know I've you know heard uh, bits of it, and so uh, so I think it'll be I think it'll be received well. And the uh, and the cover is uh, is quite something. It's kind of it's got a really striking cover. It's really well done. So thank you. Good on that. Uh, so let me ask you this: um, You said it wasn't that difficult to write about. How many hours a day do you spend uh, writing? Oh. <laughs> and how, um, do you, how do you discipline yourself? <laughs> okay, travel. I'm really not a very disciplined person, so there will be times when I can write for five hours straight because I am in the zone, and there will be times when I, I don't when I am lured into uh, the play skipper all day but I, f I find that I because I've got a very submissive nature I find that if um, someone is basically sitting on me and telling me to do it I get it done and I've been lucky to have a lot of people who have done that for me nice. so I try I, I try and do at least a thousand to two thousand words a day okay all right and how many how many words is it um, it is a hundred and it's just under a hundred and fifty thousand words. What's so for 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 this genre? That's 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 a long book, isn't it? 
Yes. Well, um, I don't know. Yeah, I I read um, the likes of Cerise Sinclair, uh, Lexi Blake, um, mm. Sheila Black, who are amazingly great writers, and their books are about the same length. I I would think uh, you need to give your readers something worth reading. So I hope that this does that. Hey, I got a question for you. Do you have any? Do you hide any secrets in your books that only a few people will, will get? Um, I have in previous books, but not in this one. Oh no! Okay. Right. I I have hidden in my other genres uh, very specific uh, messages to people, but not in this one. <laughs> All right. Well, good enough. Hey, uh, do you read your uh, your reviews? Um, I do. Yes. You do. How do you do, how do you deal with a good or a bad review? I mean, do you have a do you have a way of yes. dealing with it? What do you do? Yes. Uh, what I would say to every single person out there is, you are never going to get uh, people. You're never going to get 100 percent of the people loving your stuff ever. So I would say. The top 20% ignore. The bottom 20% ignore. That bit in the middle is what you want to kind of look at and read because there will always be people who read your book and it's just not their thing. And they'll they'll say, oh, well, I found that disgusting. <laughs> or, <laughs> That's something that very well might happen because this is pretty to the bone. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. All right. If you could tell your younger writing self anything, what would it be? To persevere. Because, I don't know, sometimes you don't think you're good enough. Sometimes you don't think that your writing is good enough, that your ideas are good enough. And i got news for you. Every single writer in the world feels that way. So stick with it. If it's something you love, stick with it. That's what I would tell my younger self. Yeah, and you've done you've done you've done all right in your in your career so far. This is a, a shift for you, but you've, you've persevered, I guess, right? Um, I was really surprised. Uh, I I always liked little romance stories, and I just uh, threw one up one day, and before long, I was I was a top seller in romance. I was one of the top sellers. All my books were hitting the number one slots. It was like, uh, I don't know what's happening. So I never thought myself good enough, but there you go. There you go. All right. So, so then where do you go, where do you go from here uh, as a writer or, you know, uh, what more can we expect from Harmony Drake? Um, well, I'm currently looking at creating the follow-up to this because uh, Collard is the first in a series of books and there's a team one the person in this one is Finn and there's Blake Tyler uh, Wendy and Colt and the next person who will be written about is Blake and if you read the book I think you're gonna fall in love with Blake because <laughs> he's a, he's a smart mouth um, sexy uh, alpha who looks out for women but isn't beyond telling someone to back the f off kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so do you, i mean do you have a plan you, this all right so this is clearly book one uh, of the series um do you is everyone going to get their own book um well at the moment my thoughts are because I, I tend to throughout the books leave little hints of what's going on with the other characters and you can tell that there's something going on with Colt and Wendy so to be honest I think that their book will be a combined one because okay. there's going to be some well, you know okay. love going on there <laughs> okay all right well, we look forward to that. so um so I'll go ahead and I'll post uh where people because um hopefully I'll get this up for the release date on June 1st but if not it'll be right around that time so I'll make sure I put the link for the uh, for the book in uh, on this page. You know, on this page here, people can when people yeah. listen to it, they can find your book. If they wanted to follow you around on social media, how would they do that? 
Um, well, I have a website, harmonydrake.com, and then there's my Twitter, which is under Harmony Drake also, and uh, email harmonydrake at gmail.com. All right. Well, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm so looking forward to your follow-up book as well. <laughs> Thanks. It's, it's, it's going to take a little bit longer, but, you know, we're, we're working on it. Um, so, yeah, so that's, uh, um, well, thank you so much for doing this again. And, you know, hope maybe we can, maybe we can talk uh, a little bit later down the line. Once we, you know, once the book is kind of out there, maybe we can talk a little bit more about the actual book itself. I didn't really want to get into the plot or anything like that at this point, but maybe after some people have read it, we can, uh, uh, we can talk a little bit more about how it's being received and, and, uh, and what's going on with it and what's going on with you. Sure. Sure, and you know, to be honest, I think this is the hardest part is the marketing of a book because there's a lot of excellent books out there, but they don't get read because they're not marketed. So this is going to be a learning curve for me too. All right. Well, thanks again, and we will talk to you soon then. Well, thank you very much, The Travel, for having me. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.